What is up guys, wanting to go back again to do another video. And today I'll be doing it on this um, 16 inch I'm pretty sure it is. Freddy Fast Bear plushie. And this is official Funko. I know I have the knockoff ones, um, but this is official because picked up from the store. I think it was last week. Um, but I didn't have my laptop charge by then, so I couldn't film the video. I have a Funko vinyl figure set, so I'm at, or vinyl figure set. So I might do a v review of that today. So I have the little, I have the posters up and everything still. I will expand on the shelves. So here he is. Um, the fabric is really nice on this. I'm actually doing a comparison of Freddy up here, the mini one. Or we'll knock off one. But I like, I like this one still. He's, he's great quality. Yeah. This one looks more accurate to game though. The hat's better. The bow tie's better, but I'm not having a go at this, so I like him still. The nose is fabric. That's plastic. The eyes are different. That's fabric. This one's got like plastic things under it. Yeah, because you can't squeeze these. You can on that. The eyebrows are better. Well, the eyebrows are like this. I've seen really bad versions of this knockoff one. The eyebrows are terrible. I can't even tell you how bad the eyebrows are on him. But I got one of the better ones. Um, so. The colouring is all really nice and beautiful. This is Tag, Five Nights at Freddy's Collectible Plush, Funko, I don't get why it's 14 plus age, this is cute, I think ch children should have this as well, it's not like he's one of the, he's got sharp teeth like Nightmare animatronics, mm, so, show the back of the Tag, it has like a picture of the office as a background, adult, uh, all these information, so, uh, Scott Cawthon, uh, his Facebook page, Twitter, and all that. So, yeah. I might actually, my, my, my brother Mike, um, he, might, he might actually pick up the Foxy plushie. This, the Foxy wasn't in stock when we went, because we only have like three, three of these vinyl figure sets, those mini ones, and they have this I brought him. It's 30 quid at Forbidden Planet. And those were 15 each. So, let's show the pictures on it. Here's the figures. I, I'm getting this set next time. Ryan's got it. So, yeah. If you do like this video, please stay, stay tuned for my Halloween prep videos. I have a load coming. You can see all of these in here. That's not my bad boy in Dominus. Yeah, I've got the DJ skull tonight. He has new batteries in his set. Just bring them out there, just want to show you. Rest. That's if they don't fall out. Oh, bad news actually, guys. And um, this Sainsbury's Halloween mummy, his speaker died. Because when I got him out of lock, his speaker died. And one of his skateboard skeletons, the speaker broke on him, so. Looks. I might just re-upload that video from last year, but I'm just doing re-reviews this year of my Halloween props to that. But I think I could do them better. I might not do a re-review of my Phantom Face, but it just depends. I'm just keeping reviews for around the time, because that's my old one. I still do like my old one. Well, there's actually, um, this is nothing to do with video guys, there's actually a problem with these, you know why the face sticks on, um, these and you hear the clicking sound, because the, cause the face actually imprints on this eye, um, it sticks to the eye it does, so, a way of fixing that is scratching the paint off, but doing that is a real risk, because you could actually scratch the, all the paint off his actual eye, so, well, I can't scratch them off my eye. But I drawn it, I always fix that and draw it on the permanent marker. So, please, please like these videos, stay tuned for my videos.
comment and subscribe and yeah, peace out.